Tonight, our conversations continue with seven local farmers and restaurant owners, each helping us learn more about the impact the virus has had on farm to table operations in the Midlands. Tonight, our Alicia Niaves tells us how a land steward in Lexington County adapted his business model to stay afloat. At this small organic farm in Red Bank, collard greens, radicchio, kale, and potatoes are just a fraction of the crops sprouting from the earth. Put one in. But this year, what's growing in great abundance at Organically Roland doesn't come from the ground. Mounds and mounds full of beautiful jewels. It's hope, and it comes from the heart. Absolutely. Things are looking up. Jason Roland, owner and operator, made most of his business by selling to restaurants. I have been doing this, growing organic produce and selling it directly to restaurants restaurants since I was 17 years old. So this is all I've ever done. Last year, as restaurants began to shut down and profits began to dwindle, my income went from 95% coming from restaurant to almost zero overnight. He and his wife created a business plan in two days. We started doing a home delivery CSA and a pickup CSA. And that saved us. If it wasn't for that, we would have had nothing. CSA stands for Community Supported Agriculture, where consumers can buy a share of produce every week. But this is my greenhouse. A year later, Roland is staying busy. He's now in a position where he can operate successfully using the CSA model alone. These guys are ready to go. And for the first time in a long time, he's back in the greenhouse, working to bring the most special part of his farm to your table. Feel that hope coming back. Alicia Niavis, News 19, WLTX.